harvest that CO2 and turn it into grain. It was it was such a on the social media platforms, dude. It was a war on whether phantom yield loss was a real thing or not. There were people dying on the hill that it wasn't a real thing. There were guys dying on the hill that it was. And it's like, uh, okay. I, I don't know. I mean, I, maybe it was just a fad and people were just hyped up about it. And maybe that's what it was. But it's ridiculous. That we're, I mean, I shouldn't say ridiculous. Maybe it's a good argument to have brought up some good points. But, you know, people are like, it's reduced moisture. Well, it's reduced ethylene. No, because you're selling your crop at a very uh, standardized moisture level. Yes. You know, you it's not the moisture. It's the carbon that you lost. Yeah. And that's in the form of ethylene. Gotcha. It could also be another great example is with soybeans. Mm-hmm. Um, now, believe it or not, down south, we're still growing some determinant bean varieties that they mm-hmm. just kind of grow, set seed, and die. More like a corn. Sure. But up here, we're growing all. I, I don't. Have, I haven't seen an, uh, a determinant soybean up here in I think my entire career. Sure. Here, they're all um, indeterminate, so they want to grow. They'll grow forever until a, a frost kills it. Mm-hmm. So we have these really hot, dry years where the beans are just sitting there. They're not doing anything. And then all of a sudden in September, you kind of get this light rain and it cools off. You get that cold snap and all of the beans, they grow a new trifoliate. Yeah. That is also at the expense of your pod. Uh, one of the things I unfortunately had to learn in school, we used to measure this, right? And uh, a Sharpie marker, you can write on the pods and it lasts so go out there you know in in august when you have a nice three or four four hopefully four right four Four pods in there and it's plump find yourself some good ones and just write on it with your sharpie marker and then go there after that that million dollar rain right and you go out there that day and you see the new trifoliate and look at that pod that you marked with that stupid sharpie i spent so much time in a field you could tell and uh Go look at it, and it's flat. So the plant, it's a two-way street up until the very end of its life cycle. So if suddenly the conditions change, there was no stress, or the stress is gone, Mm -hmm. now the plant says, hey, I'm going to grow a new leaf. Now, we're lucky corn can't do this. And we are. (laughs) A new trifoliate comes out. That's also phantom yield loss. But in that case, it wasn't ethylene that flew away. It was the plant remobilizing the source to sink and taking that carbon out of the bean and turning it into a new trifoliate to make a new flower. Is that because the plant thinks I can make a new improved, quote, baby? Exactly. A new flower, new baby. Let's make more babies. Okay. And it's all because of hormone balance. There's five key hormones in the plant, and these hormones are predominantly made in the roots and the hormones are there to sense the environment and signal the plant what to do. So it doesn't have eyes to to see the thunderstorm. Sure. But it can sense these these environmental triggers. Maybe it's moist ground, high temperatures, low temperatures, whatever you want, might want to be. And then it changes its hormone profile internally, mostly through the roots. That's why they say the roots are the brains of the plant. Mm-hmm. It's because those five hormones or four of the five hormones are made in the roots and then transported out throughout the plant. And it's the balance of those five hormones that are the decision-making process of the corn and bean crop. So you've just changed the source to sink relationship because you changed the environment. The plant's responding. Now it's got more gibberellins, more cytokinins. And- Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full-length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major pl- podcast platforms. Um, We're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content.